Welcome back to World of Warcraft. We're gonna be starting a new character tonight. It's a hunter, as you can obviously tell. We're gonna be playing as a blood elf. I think the Everson Woods are reason enough alone to start a new character here. Definitely one of the best atmospheres in the game. I think this zone received even more attention than Elwyn Forest, which I would rank first uh, out of the original areas. With the Burning Crusade, things were a bit different. Let's just enjoy this zone. While we are here, we're gonna pick the first Anaria quest. Shola. The reckoning is at hand. We have the ability to auto shoot. Okay, and attack. Interesting. So right clicking is going to enabled you to attack automatically and the character switches wait is this actually how it works it is so you start using range attacks and then you switch to melee must have been a recent change then again i'm not that familiar with a hunter Four out of eight. Good. What I'm more interested in is actually going through Outland. Enjoyed it a lot with a shaman. Definitely reaching level 70 with the character. Not sure how far I'm going to push into Northrend. Level two, of course, we do have the buff. The Joyous Journeys. Definitely thankful that the developers included this one. Makes the journey easier. And of course, creating more characters is an option. Because with the original leveling speeds, reaching level 60, and of course 70, was significantly slower. Slow enough to deter some people, myself included. We don't have to worry about that, though. Do I need to... Stop killing those, probably. There's a paladin. Saw someone else as well. Think that is a warlock? No, it's a priest. Someone is leveling up in the distance. Keep your wits about you. The unfortunate measures, and of course, hunter training. Hey, I remember the spring pause. Death to all who oppose us. We might have a chance to tame one. Be ready for anything. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever tamed a pet as a hunter. So Ranger Salina is going to instruct us in the way of the hunter. Priest, Paladin, who else? Warlock. Baladash Malinore. Remember the sun well. See questions is are our eyes keen as a hawk's motions fluid as a monkey's? Or the speed uh, that of a cheetah? We will have justice. Next quest is for the Wall Watcher. I remember him. He sends us to retrieve some things. Salama Ashalinore. Somewhere in the Sunspire. The reckoning is at hand. Probably can afford training. Then again. Until level four we don't have that many abilities. Surprised to see these cats are alive. Usually people just kill them. The eternal sun guides us. The reckoning is at hand. So the shrine of Dathramar. We need to read the plaque and learn more about Dathramar and his contributions. Farewell. 
We will have justice. He's been expecting us. Remember the sun well. Keep your wits about you. So Lanyan's belonging. Chirello that was the one I remembered. Would have been interesting to give him the iconic Tauren line about expecting us. Hold on, what kind of equipment do we have right now? We have a short bow, we have a worn battle axe. Somewhat surprised to see that the hunter is using a battle axe by default. And a two-handed one. So hunters and two-handed axes, who knew? Actually, the hunter can probably use most melee weapons. Just like warriors. Maybe the only one they cannot use is is a wand. Again, just like a warrior. Is a kid. Kind of a dangerous area to fall asleep. Oh, she wakes up. points of damage. Yeah, that's a new record. Can use Raptor Strike. This of course is a racial ability. We're level 3. We have no money of course, which means we need to pick up everything that isn't nailed down. The Blood Elves do have an advantage. I think you get a lot more from quests and probably selling some of the useless items in this area. More importantly, what about professions? Could try leather working. That's always an option if you're using leather gear. Victory lies ahead, Shorel Oran. I like the little jumping cheers it does. Can pick some leather or cloth. I guess leather Keep is the best option. You. Need to report to Lanthan. Death to all who oppose us. She has an assistant. One hundred and sixty-two arrows. This is something else we need to be wary of. We will Running proceed. out of arrows doesn't sound fun. Not for the hunter. Fistful of slivers. So we need to hunt the the creatures that use mana on the isle. Death to all who oppose us. Magical broom. Wish I had one of what those. Do you seek? Can equip those. It's a cloth piece. Nice of him to hand us one of his book satchels. That is also a cloth piece. Be ready for anything. Where can I buy ammunition? The weaponsmith, maybe? I have one of a kind no. Items. Not from the weaponsmith. Victory lies ahead. Unending thirst. Need to 
practice using the racial ability. We're gonna do that. Really need to figure out where we can buy arrows. We can visit the spire where the trainer was in. We'll probably find something there. That worked perfectly. The racial ability is going to restore some mana and also silence enemies. Non-players are also interrupted from casting spells of uh, whatever school they were trying to cast. Yes. Time is of the essence. So this is her assistant. Jorel Aran. We need to deal with some of the tenders and feral tenders. Can get a dagger. Realistically, we'll be able to use all of these weapons, but Hold your head high. we need to train the skill first. That's gonna take a while. Level two paladin fighting the cubs. Is that robe actually better? It is. I'm not sure if I like the robe look for the hunter, though. I guess it will do. Until we find a proper leather vest. fighting ahead. One of the more popular classes. And for good reason, they're very powerful. And we even have a new blessing. Should definitely thank them. You don't see that every day. Not a big deal, though. In Wrath of the Lich King, most classes can deal with the leveling content just fine. And we now have a scroll. The Scroll of Scourge Magic. Oh, the Academy. We're not going there yet. We can probably go visit the Shrine. More enemies for us to fight. Still thinking about professions. Could try jewel crafting. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever leveled jewel crafting at all. No idea how difficult it's going to be. We also have the option of uh, mining and engineering. You can probably pair jewel crafting with mining too, since you're gonna need all the gems. And these are expensive. It's a good way to make money, or spend money of course, if you're trying to level your professions.
Here we are, level 4. Honestly, those are tougher than everything else we fought before. <laughs> Casting Renew doesn't help either. We do not have any healing abilities as a hunter, not that I'm aware of. Maybe something changed in Wrath of the Lich King. a leather vest for us. Yeah, looks good. That's something a hunter would wear. And that is a plaque. Here stands the shrine of Dathramar, a fitting tribute to a noble elf. Let all those who gaze on this monument remember his sacrifice against the scourge and his dedication to the cause of our continued survival. All who prosper in Quelth, alas, do so thanks to him. Even see the sunset. to say I remember those being hostile, but maybe not. Maybe... who knows. Memory isn't what it used to be. And it's been a really long time. One more priest. The Fortitude of the Sindore. Open the quest log. We need to find something else for Salonia. No, Solanium. Not to be confused with Solarian. That's a different character. I believe she was uh, one of the bosses in uh, in one of the raids in Tempest Keep. Of course, not many people will care about that now. Who is this? Oh, the Paladin. Didn't we run into her before? Probably did. Crimson Orb. I think we have everything. The Paladin probably needed the same item. Another Warlock. Nice to see all these people running around. Thankfully, this server has a decent population. Especially now that many people are playing either Hardcore or Season of Discovery. Playing on one of the higher population servers is a good thing. There's a downside when new content is released and you have to deal with queues, but I don't really mind waiting. I usually don't even bother the first couple of days. So Solanian is up there. And since we are level 4, hold on. General supplies. Do not loiter. We can buy rough arrows here. Yeah, we're gonna do that. They're not that expensive. And probably sell everything. Did I try to sell the quest Shirelle item? Ron. That was pointless. State your business. We're gonna speak to Ranger Salina here. We can grab um, 
three more abilities. We have the Serpent Sting, an aspect to increase our dodge chance, 18%. Okay, that's a lot. We can now track beasts. Also have resistance to magic, reduces our chance to be hit. That sounds pretty powerful, doesn't it? Every single spell. Enchanting skill. Are we gonna be an enchanter? Probably not. No idea where to place this one. Hey, do, do they actually play monkey sounds when you activate it? They do. That was an interesting detail. Not sure how much I like it. Sure, we can also do nature damage over 15 seconds. That doesn't sound that powerful. Can also track beasts. We can activate it. Yeah. Hey, look at all these beasts. Anaria Shola, remember the sun well. We'll never forget the sun well. Now let's get some uh, quests done hand. here. There's Farewell. a sunspire cord. We will have justice. Keep your wits about you. Decent amount of experience. Anaria Shola. Baladash Malanore. Salama Ashala. The daylight cloak. And just like that, we're level five. Let's equip those. Did we not have a belt? Apparently not. What business have you? You can also grab the striding pants or the vigorous bracers. Stay the course. Oh, I picked a cloth piece. Unfortunate. Light cloth, wait. I could try those. I mean, they're not that expensive. Remember the sun well. Red pads. Why not? Yet another paladin. How many have we run into those so far? I want to say four or five. That must be number six. We will persevere. We will have justice. This is going to conclude the aggression quest. We can pick up a dagger. Shorel Aran. Palindrin. Need to deal with some arcane wraiths. Yes, this is Palindrin is on top of the academy. Can get a new bow. Hold your head high. Now that's interesting. Should probably attack one of these. Dagger skill is going to start at zero. Defense skill is 20. Right, we're doing good. And of course I get a pair of leather pants after I spend so much of my money just to purchase some for the vendor. Well, I can always make more. One more paladin. At this point, I should probably make a counter for this video just for fun. How many paladins have we seen? Probably number seven. Someone's been here. I don't think it was just a paladin. Oh, look. It was the other paladin.
I have to say, these animations are significantly better than the ones from the... the troll race. A lot more fluid. Then again, they did have, what, two or three years to develop these? The Burning Crusade was probably... When did it launch? Somewhere in 2007, I believe. Yeah, so they had at least two years, maybe three. One more magic group. So they're probably the reason there's not a speck of dust on this place. Do I seriously need eight of these? It's probably going to take a while. Should honestly head up. Arcane bolts. Yeah, this is a tainted wraith. Someone dealt with Felandrin already, that's fine. We're gonna wait for him. The next copy of him. Picked up a Tainted Essence. Arcanist Helion is probably interested in one of these. It's a sliver of crystallized mana. Will not long mourn your past. Bold worlds. The fact that he used Mind Flay makes me believe he was a Shadow Priest. It's not a standard Priest ability either. Think it's a talent. We are not done yet. Oh, there's one. Can I stab it with our steely knife? Fortunately, we can just kill them. shield. Unfortunately, we cannot use one. Can probably dive down. The water looks deep enough. Oh, it was not. Somehow he made it. Unbelievable. I guess I landed just on the edge of that shallow patch. What a horrible way to die. Can you imagine someone playing... Well, if someone was playing hardcore, jumping into that leg was probably not going to be even a thought. Could have used the Hearthstone. 
cooldown of 30 minutes. Definitely prefer cooldown of 30 minutes over one hour. Now look at all these spring paws. And they even walk in perfect sync. No, it's a mother and the cub. Maybe that makes sense. Anaria Shola, stay the course. Time is of the essence. Keep your grab the new bow. We will have a quest justice. to aid the stay outrunners. The Let's not forget about the tainted sliver. There's one. The Sunstrider bow. Honestly, it's not that big of an upgrade, but. What do you seek? We don't have to repair. Yeah, probably sell everything. Be ready for Senora. anything. We will have justice. And experience a few pieces of silver. High. Well, one piece of silver and 50 pieces of copper. And we have uh, eight pieces of silver. Man. We're honestly doing fine. Let's go to aid the outcasts. No, the outer runners. Ruins of Silver Moon. You can even see the dead scar. The skirts definitely left a mark in this area. But yeah, the design is just perfect here. The drain I also have pretty good areas, but I think the Everson Woods definitely ends up uh, over overall better. And that does include the original areas from the original classic. How do you even differentiate before excuse me, between all the classic versions? You have classic, you have burning well, burning crusade probably. Wrath of the Lich King classic, that's a mouthful. What business have you? We will have justice. The reckoning is at hand. So what exactly are the Outrunners doing here? So the road goes through the ruins of Silver Moon, leads to the square, crawling with a wretched dome. We will have justice. Now I remember, one of their members was uh, carrying a package and was slain by the wretched. I mean, could be anyone out here. Probably the wretched though. Had a nice looking scimitar. I'm gonna bring the parcel back. Arona's package. That was... Was that the Magistrix? Quest item, no idea what it is though. State your business. The reckoning is at hand. The third one they lost this month. Shorel Oran. Well. Keep your wits about you. Be ready for anything. Can complete the delivery for Alarion. A paladin name, Red is Dead. That's your name. Expected to see most people running around with all the powerful enchanted gear and the heirlooms. We've seen one, I believe, and that's about it. Hostile patrollers, these are mechanicals. No, they're elementals. Really? And of course, they're wretched.
the falcon wing square someone is already heading out is that a warlock no that is a mate it's all fine though we need to make a delivery probably to the innkeeper like those purple drapes everything has a price Everything has a price. Stay the course. You can choose between the water and the apples. Farewell. Do not loiter. We can probably Remember the sun set well. the inn as our home. Yeah, that's perfect. We're even level six. Come to think of it. We should be able to train here. The pet trainer, I see. There is a bounty on Thales the Hunger. Probably one of the wretched, like uh, Thelandrin, whatever Lord his name to was. The Need to collect unstable crystals. Uh, something else. Choose wisely. Can get a large axe and a weapon. A stiletto that deals a lot more damage. A new Bellore Delana. Yeah, we can train pretty much everything. We don't have money though. One handed swords, two handed swords. We will have justice. Can buy a gladius or a two handed sword. Honestly, I don't think these are that good. 3.6. The axe is probably the best option. I don't think we can use an... Hold on. Can we dual wield? Shorel Aran. Does not look like it. There's a paladin trainer right here. And this Our is Anovia. Will fall. So beast mastery... Defense dual wield. We need to wait until level 20. So that solves that mystery. Male gear, of course. Level 40. Arcane shot and the hunter's mark. Nothing else from survival. Death well, that looks to perfect. All who oppose us. Our enemies will fall. The reckoning is opponent. at hand. Time is I have essence. one of a kind items. And this is Tanaria, the rogue trainer. We cannot Your buy a bow. I guess not. Keep your wits about you. The weapons vendor. Slayin. Maybe Slayin has something interesting for yes. us. No, he sells the exact same weapons. So no new bow for us. You can usually buy some decent upgrades. And we can, but the hunter is not that worried about their melee weapon. Time is of the essence. Maybe we should be. Maybe we're not high enough to get new weapons. And we don't have a pet, so... I guess we need to buy a large axe. That being said, though, I'm gonna end the first episode here. Thank you for watching. In the next one, we're going to decide which professions we're going to pick up. And then just buy a new weapon and start doing some quests here in Everson Woods. We have a few in Falconwood Square. And then we're free to explore the world. We can even go to Silvermoon and teleport to the Undercity. Take the Zeppelin. I think I'm going to stick to the ghost lands, though. These are very nice zones. I'll probably meet you back in Silver Moon City when I decided the professions I'm going to use. Also thinking about becoming a gunsmith. In craft guns with engineering. With other classes, ranged weapons are not really that important at all. All you need to do is 
Make sure you have one to do some range pulls, but for a hunter is more vital. Engineering sounds pretty decent for us. But that's about it. I'll see you in the next part.